Hi, I'm Elke Valovirta, and on this one, I'm gonna check if a few tones products can make my Made in Japan Wasburn N4 even better. So I bought a L big block from them, then the stopper. So I'm gonna make this bridge so that it doesn't flow, and then the noiseless springs, and then this brass. Clamp. And this guitar is pretty good. If you see my video about this, I already changed the bridge. This is a Floyd Rose bridge because the old old uh, Schaller bridge, really good bridge, but it was like 30 years old, so it just couldn't keep up with my playing because I played kind of hard and you know it was it didn't everything almost kind of kind of fell apart. So I changed this Floyd Rose bridge can remember if this is original or thousand series anyway really good good bridge but uh, I'm gonna upgrade the guitar this is great git guitar but uh, I don't really like the flowing stuff and uh, let's see if I can even improve the sustain and tone with this because this sounds fairly good good now <laughs> playing so now I'm gonna record some stuff with this guitar into ADA MP1 preamp which goes into Mesa Boogie Mark V's power amp so effect loop return directly there and then into my Marshall 96BX cab with Greenbacks might with just with a single Sennheiser E906 so I'm gonna record something now Okay, so no post-processing, I'm gonna keep everything levels exactly the, the same, no effects, nothing, just, uh, you know, basic. I'm gonna do some basic kind of chords or riffing now in its, uh, you know, original stage. <laughs> Then just some, you know, blue stuff. The, the clean channel
Okay, hopefully I remember what I play <laughs> when I've changed the, the stuff. Cool. So here I am at my workshop and uh, if you don't, they have a great video as Adam Ryber has done. So I'm gonna check out these videos. Videos, videos, how to how to do this and uh, yeah, I think it'll be pretty, pretty self-explanatory. And this is, by the way, also the room where my my Marshall cabinets are. They are they are there always, Mike. Both always on. So uh, yeah, cool. So I'm gonna remove the strings now, but I will use these same strings when I compare, so that there's you know nothing to make anything brighter or whatever. But anyway, as Adam, you know, has guided me, I'm gonna remove the strings and just actually I'm gonna remove them from the bridge and just take them here so it's easy to put them back. Actually they'll be just fine hanging on, on this locking. I'm gonna lock this so where is the strings? Fine and dandy. Cool. Then what Adam says. Flip the guitar. Flip the guitar, remove the strings. Rock and roll, springs removed. The next, like Adam teaches me, I'm gonna put the new claw and remove this old claw and solder the ground wire to it. Man, it's really hot, so I need to I need to let it cool down before I screw it in, in place. And like Adam said there, good ironing, you know, stuff, and I uh, think every guitar player should know how to solder stuff, because this is kind of like your, you know, basic stuff that, uh, in my opinion, every guitar player should be able to do. All right, now I'm gonna screw this into place and then I'm gonna take off the bridge and we'll start to work on changing the big block. Cool, picture taken so I kind of know where the international shadows are. Now we'll put them on the table in the order that, uh, you know, this one is the high E, B, this multi-tool multi is uh, Ibanez, but I'm pretty sure many companies make make similar guitars. Next have a you know radius, so these need to be in the correct order. Otherwise, your this radius will be effed up. So I need to put them back into their places where they were. All right, the, it's there, and as you can see the. The L shape, you know, it, there's just room for the bar, because you know, more mass is more, more is more. Okay, then we're gonna look the spacing where the saddles were and put them approximately to there, so it should be pretty close already. Yeah, looks pretty much the same. All right, what next? Tell me that. Okay, so now I'm almost level the bridge so that it's floating and it's, it goes pretty much, you know, along with the, with the body. And man, I can, the tuning is whatever, but I already can feel that it's a lot better sustain and it's louder. And the way you change the angle of the neck slightly, because sometimes that'll do the trick if you're having the problem that the strings, you know, fall off. You just loosen these a bit and press heavily so it goes, you know, this way. And then it tighten the, the screws and keep the tension. You know, don't be afraid. These are tools. <sighs> Guitars aren't sacred, they're meant to be punished. Yeah, did the trick. Because I changed the angle a little bit. A tiny, tiny amount of like this. Now there's more room 
for the e, e string. Okay, when I do this to my EVH Frankenstrat, I'm gonna put this first because now it's pretty much impossible to put this here. Maybe with a tool that I don't have that Adam has, so I need to take off the bridge so that I can screw this on. So uh, in the future, because I, I have two two of these sets, so I'm gonna install this same to my EVH Frankenstrat also. But you know, you learn by doing. <laughs> like that, hopefully you can see, maybe not, there's a tape now that prevents the clicking sound. So <laughs> I ended up putting it almost to the max. Why I have these prints like this, I like the feel when I do dive bombs so that it's a little bit uh, looser on the low strings boo, and tighter on the high strings. So yeah, double stops. But then, cool. Let me intonate this and then check. Let's check this out with uh, with the amp. Okay, cool. Intonation done. String height set. I usually or always set up my string height, whatever feels good, but someone's gonna ask anyway, so let's let's check out. Now the neck is pretty straight, so I do it like here where the neck you know joins the body. And I should be able to do Morse code. So that it's tiny tiny amount. That, that's the way I, I like it. The low E string is two two uh, millimeter and the high E is 1.75 millimeters so I don't like my strings to be really low it's harder to bend and you know it's you know probably the the same that it it was you know before this same setup same strings same amp same cabinet everything is the same so let's see at least acoustically when I played there definitely was louder and it resonated more so but let's check out with uh, first with overdrive or the you know tube distorted channel translates their YouTube compression but I feel like there's more kind of more, more gain and the reason is because you know acoustic electric guitar is acoustic pickups pick up the sound you make with these two things and since the guitar sounds acoustically louder there's more you know volume whatever stuff pickups to pick up and transfer into amplifier this way the amp gets a bit hotter signal, a bit louder signal, so the tubes, because the ADH, the tube amp, tube preamp, the tubes will distort a bit more, because they get a hotter signal. So I it, feel it's a little bit more punchier, more, uh, more tone, <laughs> more everything, more is more. <laughs> 
Let's hear a little bit some, you know, lead lines. There's more everything. More is more. Okay, let's check out the the clean. At least the sus there's more sus than like a lot. Now when the bridges is uh, you know like this I can do Let's have chorus At least with clean stuff, it's it's just like it with rings and sustains so much more. There's a tiny amount of compressor, you know, included in the ADA clean channel, but but not much. Thank <laughs> you. 
Conclusion, if you want to get more tone, more sustain, more everything out from your Floyd Rose equipped guitar, strong recommendation, the big block, whatever brass big block I have here, the trim stopper increases sustain because now the bridge is kind of attached, not kind of, it is attached to the body. I believe these these effects too, you know, brass, noiseless springs, brass, and there's a lot of other stuff you can upgrade upgrade to, you know, all the other screws and whatnot. I, I just tried this first, but I, I really like this. So uh, in the future, because these will wear out at some point, uh, when they will, when I'm going to purchase new ones, I will definitely order stuff from, uh, you know, titanium, whatever these uh, from fu-tone.com. So check it out. I put a link in the description. I don't have any affiliations. I don't know the guy. would be nice to meet meet uh, Mr. Adam River. Uh, but so this is just, you know, I bought this. Just wanted to share with you because uh, some of you have asked me my opinions about this, but uh, I haven't experienced this. But now I have, and I must say, thumbs up. Thumbs up if you slash dash tone dot com. Hey, hopefully this was interesting and informative and so on. Maybe even a bit funny. <laughs> Thanks for watching. And uh, yeah, remember to thumbs up, subscribe. You know the drill. Until next time, take care. Bye.